everyone and welcome to another video and welcome to one of the best SUVs in the world which is the Toyota Land Cruiser Heritage Edition. The Toyota Land Cruiser is such a reliable car and it is a capable, dependable and a bulletproof reliability which everyone knows so I need not uh, introduce you to the Land Cruiser as a brand or a model because this is such an iconic model and it's had been going on for so many years and which is why the Heritage Edition which is to mark the 10 million sale global sales of the Land Cruiser worldwide and this is why it makes this version a very special one so the best way to start this video because this is a proper SUV and it is one of the best is to first go for a drive and we'll be going for a proper off-roading drive and to start off first I have to remove air from my tires but if I want to fill my air back I have my own bit of compressor in the car itself which is mounted right out here so this is the best feature in in any suv i guess because let's be honest when you go for an off-roading you remove the air and then you want some air you can just fill in you can actually help your group with the you know filling of the air for their cars it's pretty cool let me just remove the air and then we go on for a drive so here we are after removing the air and ready to tackle some dunes and immediately this car feels so much more confident you know it wants to do this it and all this is possible so it's got a 4.6 liter v8 engine that produces 304 brake horsepower and 440 newton meters of torque and it's clubbed to a six speed automatic gearbox all of that is fine because all i care about is this which is the ease of doing off-roading and you may wonder why you know it's such a capable suv and here's the fact so it's got so many clever bits so it's got a transmission that is so in this one it's always a 4x4 transmission so you cannot switch back to the 2x4 more at any point of time so it's always going to be a 4x4 but that doesn't matter because that's less complicated in order to you know just start uh, directly doing the off-roading process so apart from that there are other bits like you know so i'll be honest yeah see it's 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 a very stable chassis like you know the car always tries to maintain that balance and all that is possible because of the kinetic dynamic suspension system so it's kinematic dynamic suspension system or anyways i'll be putting in in the in the at the bottom so that suspension system makes sure that this car is always stable it's always leveled you know you never feel like you're going to be uh, toppling or you're going to be wobbling around but in fact it's just doing this with ease and also it always tries to make sure that you never overpower the the wheels by you know giving a lot of uh, throttle but also even if i try to press a lot of throttle it wouldn't change much because it is always trying to maintain that grip levels and that is what is clever about this car it is the ability and the adaptability to change of surfaces and you know also make sure you never are out of control and even i'll be honest i have gotten stuck a few times but whenever that has happened you know the other bits and that is the crawl control the crawl control is a fantastic piece of this this technology which has been given so it, what it will do is you just put your car in four low and then put the car in the crawl control mode and set the speed and it just comes off it comes off like so easily and these fabric seats are so comfortable and also the build quality of course it's a toyota so the build quality is ex extremely well this car is so well made the nvh levels are pretty much in check like you can literally you cannot hear anything rattling or anything loose inside the dashboard or anything in fact because when you go off-roading that's what you want a less of rattling because most of the time that would make you go crazy but this wouldn't <laughs> anyways i think yeah it's i've just proved that you know this this is made for this it's no doubt and i i i would admit that you know it is one of the best suvs 
for off-roading. Anyways, let's head back onto the road and explain you some more finer details about this car. And that means I'll have to fill the air again. So see you in a bit. So I am done filling the air and it takes about 5 to 10 minutes but it's such a handy thing and especially when you are going off-roading in a group and then you want everyone, you know, everyone wants air. So you will be like, hey, yeah, there you go. That's the coolest feature. Like, you know, why not? Yeah, just take it because it comes in my car already. Um, yeah, in, but in terms of the steering response on the off-road, it's pretty good. But on road, it's a little sloppy, I find, because it takes a little while to change directions, especially on road. So it doesn't really like too much of aggressive bit of steering angles and, you know, all of that. But instead, it just wants light, delicately, you know, way of, you know, dealing with the steering uh, system. So on road, the suspensions really come into picture because they make the entire journey so comfortable like literally i mean the role has been kept in check also because if i go off-roading there's not much of role it's very very under control you know even on road now the thing is most of the times when i'm driving the car is always in eco mode so whenever i press the throttle pedal that's when the eco mode goes away but when i lift off again it comes back to eco and there is no way i can switch that off for some reason but there are also special modes in this car which is the ect and also the ect second now you may be wondering what is that it's a, so it's called as the electronically controlled transmission so when you press just the ect button what the car will do is it would let the the car the gearbox change to, it would actually shift the the shifting point so that you utilize higher rpms and the power and when you put it in the ect second this car would start in the second gear now why is that because there are certain slippery surfaces like your sand sometimes or the snow or the rock where you want not too much torque but a gentle one so it would put in second gear you would start from the second gear and go from there on so those are like a few bit of tricks that you can do with this car so the other bits i'm going to be explaining you all even later so till then why don't you all check out the exteriors and the interiors while I'll still go and enjoy some dune bashing. So starting off from the front, the design is pretty similar to the ongoing uh, Land Cruiser, but there are a few subtle changes like, uh, so you get this big chrome grill out here and at the bottom there is like a skid plate which has been given and also the bumper has been a little raised and given a shape so that you have an angle of approach. The headlights are LED headlight cluster along with the DRS and sequential turning signals for this one. And at the bottom you would find again a chrome surround around uh, uh, around the fog lamps and the fog lamps are also led so what is special about the heritage edition so to start off with you get 17 inch alloy rims along with the all terrain tires and then you don't have a footboard or a sideboard it's it may make things a little bit uncomfortable but that that essentially gives you a little bit of more ground clearance and also this 90s classic livery which used to be on the land cruiser so they've gotten that back there's also land cruiser scruff plates in the doors which illuminate at night otherwise you get uh, these power foldable uh, mirrors along with the led uh, side signal on them there are also roof rails and also other heritage uh, additions include uh, the fabric seats with the heritage addition embossed on them and also a simplified dashboard and also this air compressor that you get and a few changes here and there but that is essentially a Land Cruiser which you get along with the 90s touch which you get from this one. So continuing on the side you get the, the, the usual Land Cruiser design again I don't have to explain you all about a Land Cruiser good ground clearance and then this Land Cruiser badging on the side. So this particular model is a Land Cruiser GXR V8 washes. Now in the back again things are pretty much similar to the, the stock Land Cruiser which you get which is currently available in the market. Again LED uh, tail light cluster but there is there are turn signals and all which are halogen bulbs the reversing light and a big wiper out here and also the there is also a bit of angle at the bottom also and then you get the towing hook. So there's also a spare wheel which is mounted at the bottom and your regular exhaust you can see a lot of sand because i've done a bit of sand dune bashing now in terms of the storage space in the boot there are two different gates that you have to open in a land cruiser so they open like this first gate 
and then the second one and then you find a decent amount of space but these seats are foldable and then you have the straps out here and also these are um, hydraulically you know they are easier to put them you know tie them on the sides because usually in the previous versions you never used to have the hydraulic ones but this makes life so much more easier because they are just easy to just you know close them like hang them on the side and then when you want to use them you can just put them down and then the compressor on the side out here along with this uh, scruff plate out here plus so as to avoid any damage so your usual uh, tools and other bits are on the the gate at this one so you can also probably sit or something i don't know maybe because i'm too scared to sit on it and you know sort of ruin it but the seats uh third row seats are foldable again and also the the second row seats are also foldable and the space that you get cargo space is huge huge i mean super huge so the compressor directly has a, a dial with which you can set the unit and there is an on off switch and also you can open the the cover at the bottom and then you would find a big pipe with which you can fill air and it goes pretty much all the way across on the car till the front so it's not like it's it's the very short one but it's a pretty long one so to it, a simplicity reliability and the usability is very evident inside the interiors also so let me start off with the seats first because they the seats are fabric seats made out of the mocket material and they have this heritage edition embossed on them so like like stitched on them actually so the seats are super comfortable and they are wide i prefer the fabric seats because during the summers they don't get a, a lot of heat and then you know when you can just get in and simply drive away and then they are also easier to clean and maintain for some reason but these uh, driver seat is eight way electronically adjustable while the passenger seat is manually adjustable you get this big chunky steering wheel which has two levers to adjust the tilt and the steer uh, the telescopic and on one side there is there are no switches but at the bottom you would find a cruise control i wish they would have just mounted the same cruise control control onto the the blank space out here i don't know maybe if that was possible on the other side you get the infotainment controls now in the dashboard there is no um a screen or anything because again this goes back into the 90s where you know things were much simpler and there was less information while driving but instead enjoying the real driving you know so which is what this car focuses on and which is why you just have dials on both the sides your fuel gauge and everything is analog and also you you get to see the the park the reverse neutral and your drive all of that on your screen when was the last time you saw that sort of thing on your dashboard screen that is pretty cool and also there are soft touch plastics pretty much everywhere on the door cards on the dashboard and there are also wooden trims they are actual wood which has been given on the dashboard and on the doors and also on the steering wheel but otherwise the overall the quality of plastic is pretty good on the sides you would also get these uh, leather stitched on the side so this land cruiser has a 10 inch infotainment tft screen and that's a touch screen but by the way the touch screen is fabulous i mean i really love the the touch screen features because it's super sensitive like not in a way like it is going to be annoying but like you know how most of the times a few like screens they just don't seem to just work properly but then this is so precise the moment you press it it just operates and it's pretty easier to use this infotainment system also simplified menus everything all has been given i'll also be making a detailed review uh, like a detailed video about how to use this infotainment screen the cruise control and also the famous crawl control in the land cruiser so make sure you you check that video out and continuing with the infotainment screen in terms of the connectivity you get auxiliary usb bluetooth there is also its own miracast app and hdmi port then there are also other applications with which you can connect your phone to the car you get six speaker music system but it's a fairly easy to use system so in terms of charging you get one usb port one 120 watt power socket in the front there is also another 120 watt power socket for the middle row of passenger and also there is a plug which has been given in the boot probably to clean the boot whenever it is required and inbuilt navigation system and because it's on a big screen it is 
very easy to use and it's also pretty snappy at the bottom you would find the ac controls and there are straightforward buttons to that so it's a dual zone air co air conditioning system and at the back you would get vents and also controls for the rear passengers and there are also vents mounted on the side of the the car for the rear passenger and in terms of the storage space you can put like a liter worth of bottle in both the door cards in the front and half a liter in the back there are also two cup holders out here and they are adjustable cup holders so they also have a cover and then you can open there is also a small bit of storage out here where you can put your phone there is also this glove box but it has this big manual which pretty much takes up big size big amount of space out here so there's also a center storage and it is huge and also it's a cooled box so you can put any of your drinks and then they'll be chill so this land cruiser also comes with big grab handles out here also in the rear and also it's got this big sunroof by the way it, it is one of the biggest sunroof in the in the suv department because i've been into a few suvs and this by far beats the competition for sure now there are some different dials out here so one is the four wheel drive and the four low so this car will always be in a four by four mode all the time so you can just change from high to low and then there is also the crawl control buttons out here then there are also ect ect2 traction control and the diff lock buttons so in the back there is visually ample of leg space which you can see and also a fair bit of uh, headroom but also these seats seem a little raised when you are sitting so which is why there is no transmission tunnel in the center and it's a flatter uh, sort of area in the back so even the middle passenger that's going to be sitting is going to have a very comfortable uh, ride because these seats are also flat in the middle so it, these are one of the few cars where you can actually enjoy the middle row of seat without you know being punished for being that middle passenger so apart from that these seats are uh, fabric seats again of the same material which is the market material but there is no heritage badging or anything as such but there is this uh, center headrest it's better to remove that because most of the times when you are driving it, it's a little in the way so it's better to just remove them there are ac vents in the back again the material is again soft touch plastic in the back along with this wooden trim that has been given and half a liter of storage and ac vents and also there is a, a controller for the ac vents on the side so you can control that using this uh, this lever with which you can just operate the fan speed of the air conditioning so there is also a hand rest out here and also you can put your maybe phones out here but it's a little on the lower side this hand rest which if you can see from the video and uh, there is also a bit of storage out here maybe you can for store your phone or something or a paper and also there are these cup holders which you press and then they come out and then you can use them and then whenever you are done you can fold them and put it back there are big grab handles out here but then the best feature about the land cruiser is how wide these doors are when you open them there is a big opening through which you can you know get in and out well in the third row of seat Again, you get the fabric seats along with a few cup holders and also some more storage to keep your phones and also these AC vents in the back. So even the third passengers have some AC. But in terms of the overall seating positions, I mean, two people can sit in the back, although these seats are all the way slide back, but also they can be slided in the front a little bit and you can have more room for the the third row of passenger. But then definitely only two people can sit in the back, although I find them okay because it is better than you know most of the SUVs with the third row of seats so in terms of that there's quite a bit of space for the third row of passengers well now that you are back coming to the brakes now the brakes are a little spongy at first because the pedal has a bit of a you know varied sort of response so when I press it a little nothing happens because there's a sponginess and then when I press it a little more all of that happens at the end so it's it's a little you know sort of tricky to you know figure your way out but you can find that your 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 break point so that's all right now coming to the safety systems you get two airbags for the driver and the passenger there is brake assist there is also ebd there is also tire pressure monitoring system there is crawl control there are various other there is also the dimming feature the rear view glass 
so that also dim so lot of things and there are also child eyes of fixed points in the back and they are covered actually with the strap so you have to open and then sort of get you know the to the iso fix points and in terms of other security features or the safety systems you would get a single camera system but then i am pretty satisfied with that because there is a huge screen and i was wondering maybe that huge screen would you know give you like choppy and grainy graphics but then it's pretty all right so this car is such a dependable and a capable car i know i keep mentioning these facts but it is because let's be honest i had never experienced a land cruiser before this so after knowing and understanding what the hype was really about it is worth it because yes you get a lot more and 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 it's a bulletproof reliability that you pay for and also it's it's a car in which you can just go anywhere take everyone and do anything so it is that kind of suv and I mean this is sort of a benchmark for pretty much every major SUVs that you see right now in the market. Anyways, that is pretty much it for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you like this and if you want to subscribe to my channel then click here and if you want to watch more videos then click here. I shall see you in the next video. Bye bye and take care. Oops. <laughs>